How's it going, Phone Lab? It's Root Junkie here, and in today's video on my Chromebook, I want to go ahead and show you guys how to dual boot um, a system. It's not quite dual booting, it's more like simultaneously booting, but I'm going to show you how to do this. It's really cool. Um, this is going to require a couple things. One, you have to have um, developer mode turned on on the device. You'll see that in one of the previous lessons above this one here on Phone Lab. So definitely have developer mode turned on so that you can actually run and do this. So. To do the process, let me show you what it's going to take. First of all, you're going to have to download um, a little file that's linked in this video, below this video actually. Um, it's called Cronton, if I'm saying that correctly. Anyway, you're going to have to download it. I've got one on my little flash drive here, so I'm going to go ahead and plug in my drive. And uh, we're going to open up the browser here for File Explorer. Actually, we'll just click there. That's even easier, I think. Let's see. Eh, didn't didn't open up, so we'll open it up here. All right, so we're going to take this file that is on my drive right here, Crowton, I think that's how you say it. Anyway, just go ahead, grab it, and make sure it's in this downloads folder on your Chromebook. So here it is right here, and that's just so we can actually run the command. After that, you can unplug the flash drive. So we'll go ahead and unplug it. I guess I should have unmounted it, but anyway. There it is. That's in downloads, so that's what we need to have. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to simultaneously have uh, Linux Destro installed along with Chrome OS, and you'll be able to switch between them amazingly. You'll have to see it once it's finished. It's really cool. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up a terminal or a shell. So we're going to do Control-Alt-T, and it's going to go ahead and open up this right here. And then we're going to type in shell, S-H-E-L-L, -L, hit Enter. And now we have a shell running in uh, Chrome. And obviously, like I said, for this to function, you have to be able to run sudo commands, and that does require that developer mode enabled. Um, so I'm going to come over here to my commands. So basically, this is the first command. And what this is going to do, let me explain it. So we have sudo, which is root permissions, to run the sh file, which is what is that in, contained in that cron. Here is, this is uh, for if you want to have a password protected um, Linux Destro. So you have an E, then it, it references its location, which we put it in downloads, there's the file. And then you have T, and then you have touch. This is only needed from here, well, from here to here, is only needed in this code if you have a touch screen. Well, this is a touch screen for my Chromebook Plus, so I'm going to utilize that. And then here is the name of the Destro, or its abbreviation, or uh, how they identify it. So we're going to take and copy this whole thing, for me, copy. And I'll give you guys a link where you can find a lot more information on this. And we're just going to paste it in right there. And we're going to hit enter. And you can see it's going to do this. So at this point, this process is going to run and we're going to install this Destro. Um, I'm going to show you this right now. My clock down here says it's 238. So we're going to let this Destro install. And honestly, last time I did it, it took 40 minutes. It downloads everything to the computer, everything you need to get this Linux interface functioning for you. So it's very simple. Once it's done, it's basically going to ask you to put in a, a user and a password to create the, the secured account on the uh, install. So just sit back, grab a cup of coffee, we'll come back to it and check the time again when this process has finished. Wow, that wasn't near as long as the last time. I think we were at uh, 2.28 or 38 maybe, and now we're at 3.01, so what, 25, 30 minutes maybe, something like that. So not too bad, not too bad. You can see here we're at this new prompt right here. So it says, please specify username for primary user. So um, this has to be all lowercase. So I'm just going to type in a root junkie. That's going to be my uh, user. And then it says to enter the password for this uh, Unix Destro, which is Linux. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in a password. And hit enter. And then put in the password again. I hit enter, and it looks like everything's good. Da, 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 it's just finishing up. Done. You can enter. Okay, so everything's done at this point. So now we need to run the next command to go ahead and launch this Destro. So to do that, we're going to come back over here, and this is the command very simply. And um, we're just going to copy it and paste it in over here. Now, I do want to say this. Um, anytime you reboot the system completely, this um, Destro, this Linux operating system, will not be booting automatically. You'll have to open Terminal and put in just this command, just this last one right here, this su sudo start xfce4. 
once it's started up, you're good. So let's go ahead and hit enter and start it up. So you go and it is starting. So this is going to be your new Linux operating machine. Um, so we're going to say use default configuration for right now, which is just talking about this little bar along the bottom. So here it is. Now, this is a little bit small. Um, it's going to be hard for you guys to even see it. But um, you can actually later go in here and change some things. I think we go into settings and where would it be under appearance, maybe fonts. And let's just blow some stuff up because it's just really, 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 really small. It's at least on this screen, just because it's such high def. There we go. That's better. You guys see a little better? Okay. All right. So that's a little bit better. So this is it. This is the operating system. Now, the beauty of this system here is that it's running at the same time Chrome OS is. And it's very, very easy to switch between them. And basically, all you do is on your keyboard, you hold Control, Alt, Shift. And then you can hit the back button. If I don't hit too many things, the back button. And you can see we are directly back into Chrome right here. And then you can also hit Control Alt Shift the forward button and let go of those. And we're back right into the Linux Destro. So that's the beauty of it is that you can bounce between Chrome OS and this Destro seamlessly. So it's really, really awesome. Now, that being said, I'm just going to show you really quickly how to get um, ADB functioning on this computer. So I just opened up terminal emulator right there and it opens up a terminal right here. So we're going to put in a couple quick commands, but you know what? I'm going to see if we can even cross copy across destros or systems here. So let's just try it. So what I want to put in is I want to put in this right here and this should go ahead and get me ADB working on this other system. So we're going to copy. And I don't know if I can copy across or not, but we're going to try it. So let's try paste. It won't. Okay, so we'll just type it in. So it's going to be sudo apt dash get space install space android dash tools dash adb. Hit enter. And it's asking for my password, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And then it's going to go ahead and download adb. And it should set it up in the environmental path and everything. So there it finished. So I'm just going to type in ADB help. I hit enter. And there you can see ADB binary is showing. So ADB devices is what everybody normally sees. So there you go. It's starting the, uh, yeah, there it is. And device listed, attached, none, because I don't have anything plugged in. But there you go. Now you have ADB. And you can do the same thing with fastboot. So that would be sudo app get uh install android dash tools dash fast boot enter and it'll do exactly the same thing and then you can type in fast boot devices and if you don't get an error it means it's functional so yep so that is good so we just have adb and fast boot installed fully functioning on this linux destro um very very awesome there's tons you can configure now that you have a full Linux uh, operating system functioning here. And you can even install other, other Destros. This is just the one that was easy for me to show off in this video. And then, like I said, go right back to Chrome with Control Alt Shift back. And we are right back into Chrome. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. I'm definitely digging it. Um, if you want to see the source on all this and read up a lot more about Cronton, this, I'm going to link this right here, this GitHub post. Um, this is what you're running. This is information on it and how to install other destros and different things and variants depending on what your uh, operating or your hardware is on your computer or your chromebook so there you go guys that is the process i just wanted to show it to you it is pretty stinking awesome that you can just switch between these two operating systems that quickly so that's gonna wrap it up for me thanks for uh, watching all of these cool chromebook videos i hope you've enjoyed them if you have anything you'd like to see me cover on Chromebook and maybe add to this Chromebook support section, please let me know in the comments down below and we'll catch you guys later. Root Junkie out.